What's up, nerdlings? What's up? Do you nerd for original games? Or the remakes? So let's nerd all about it. Wait a minute. You put the lime in the coconut? What about the peel? Oh, hey guys. My name is Jacob Show, and you guys are watching Do You Nerd? That's right. This is a topic that came to us from us. <laughs> See, we were talking the other day and Lady Lacey said that you wanted to see a specific game series to get the story of it. I did. I am very interested in the Resident Evil storyline. We've got a new game. We have Resident Evil 7 on the VR, which I'm not going to play because it's too scary, but I'll watch it. But I am very much an originist. I want things from the beginning, so I don't want to pop into it in the middle, even if they don't really go together. Sometimes there's Easter eggs or things that do kind of go together. So I've been posing the question, would I have a disservice if I just had you do all of the remakes or if we play the originals? Now I do know some of them have not aged well, but I want the story. I don't care about gameplay. I don't care about mechanics. I want story. Now see, that was my first thought is the fact that sometimes games don't always age well, of course, in the graphical department, and you can usually get over that but sometimes it can be the controls. Some of those old school tank controls, oof, they can be a little rough. I've heard nothing but praise for the GameCube remake of the original Resident Evil. And not too long ago, we had a very well-received Resident Evil 2 remake, but then that started to pose the question of, should we play that one or the original version? Because there were some changes in the remake. And then the Resident Evil 3 remake, there were a lot of changes and people are very divided on that. Stars. That's when we discussed, so would it be a disservice to do just the remakes for you to get the story? Exactly. Or should we start from the beginning? And here's the deal. You know, sometimes you have a really great game and you have a really well done remake but let's face it some of the uh, the creepiness of no mouth snake moving his head all herky jerky <laughs> while he's talking will give you nightmares do you want to deal with that or do you want to deal with some of the goofiness that came with the over the top cinematic scenes that were thrown into twin snakes like the gameplay is basically the same it's very gorgeous on this version but they took some liberties, so if I'm going to show you Metal Gear Solid, should I show you this one, despite the fact that the graphics haven't mm -hmm. held up, but it's still the same story as you're basically getting here, but this is a prettier one to watch. Yes. However, that's a good example of things that haven't changed too much. What about when something changes a lot? This is only a small, small, <laughs> um, small... <laughs> part of this game you're still getting the story but in a much different way this one i would say would be a very difficult one to play for someone first of all the polygons haven't held up very well cloud with his popeye arms anybody those were tumors by the way they're not muscles <laughs> oh poor cloud <laughs> the mako is too much <laughs> But also in that classic JRPG style of gameplay with the turn-based battles, look, that's boring to watch. And there's no voice acting or anything, which is why the remake was so great for her. Uh-huh, I loved it. And it introduced you to the world of Final Fantasy VII, and it did a really great job of it, because fantastic characters that you meet right off the bat. And now I love Moogles. <laughs> I love my Moogle! This worked out pretty well, although, you know, you might miss out on a couple of things, and as of yet, you don't have the full experience of this. So yeah, let's circle this back around. When it comes to something like Resident Evil, mm -hmm. should we go for the originals, the remakes, or maybe mix and match? We've been talking to a few different people and gotten their opinions. It's a good question. I think the remakes really, some of it's fan service. Um, but to be honest, fans are fans of the original game and they're going to criticise no matter what, right? Resident Evil 1 on the PS1, give it a miss. It's... It's not aged well, the voice acting sucks, uh, the tank controls are 
bollocks. Personally, I wouldn't go back and play the PS1 one. And don't get us wrong, the storyline's great, and at the time it was amazing. Good question, Tom. I've not played the remakes, um, but I've always, I always like playing games how they originally are first. If you've not got like nostalgia to look on to, then just go for the latest experiences, you know what I mean? Best graphics, best um, quality of life improvements. Uh, Tom, I'm gonna hop in with my three shillings and a gum wrapper's worth uh, opinion. Uh. Now two and three go hand in hand. Going back to the original Resident Evil, you know, as a fan can be tricky. Um, and for me as well, I think the, um, the graphic, it just looks like colorful shit smudged on nice pictures these days. But I went back and tried to play it about six months ago, seven months ago, and I wanted to throw my PlayStation out the window because it's the most frustrating controls in the world. A lot of it is bringing people into into the um, into the series as well. So I guess if you've never played the Resident Evil games, then just get the remakes. Um, it's not going to bother you at all, and you're going to enjoy them, and they'll be brilliant. <laughs> It's like controlling a broken robot. Um, so for me, I've got to go remake. You play Zero first, any version. GameCube and up. Any any version of Zero is fine. Resident Evil 1, you, you play GameCube or up. The reason why, those versions, they look better and they have more lore. So I'd say for the sake of, of, of Lacey just wanting to get the story, Probably makes more sense just to do the remakes. Like you said, it's going to be a little bit easier on the eyes for, for you and her. You've already played through the games. Um, so yeah, I'd say just go remakes. The, the, the Resident Evil PlayStation 1 graphics, because they had like the, the like, you know, almost like photo style backgrounds and then the pixelated characters just like shit smudging across the, scene, uh, the screen. And the remaster, they give the most story and it connects more to the new Resident Evils. They give you more detail. They're probably going to be more consistent between uh, remake to remake to remake because one they're newer and they're you know in a closer timeline here's the thing i played the remakes I played remake 2 i played the remake 3 the remake 2 is really good uh it has a few bullshit bits not bad ones um it's a good game it's very faithful to its original unlike the remake of resi 3 en enough is the same for you to experience and you know what the original would have been like. For, if it's your first time experience, I just go with the um, I go with the remakes. They're, they're awesome, aren't they? So definitely suggest the remaster two and three. Then you could play four anywhere. I mean, four you can literally play that anywhere. Besides being easier on the eyes, um, I think whatever discrepancies there are in the story versus the old school original ones, the remakes will be. A lot more consistent. I know there's pieces, whole pieces that are missed out and changed um, in the remakes that a lot of people got upset about. I'd play the remake of Resi 1, Resi 2, do whatever you feel like, but Resi 3, uh, you're really missing out if you play the remake instead of the original, but of course then you've got to put with tank controls. I might have, to, uh, might have to go on a bit of a Resident Evil binge myself soon. Five anywhere, six anywhere, and seven anywhere as well as eight. Well, seven if you have a VR, that's the best way, but you're gonna be scared. <laughs> like Resident Evil 2, I played the remake and I loved it, but as I was playing it, I wasn't actually sure if I was having fun because it was almost like anxiety was kicking in the whole time. Every corner you're like, uh, who's back here? Uh, God, okay, and the next corner, oh God, a zombie, like, a liquor, and you're flying around and you know how it goes. Like sometimes you're not even enjoying the game and you're like, holy crap, I just want to get it over. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and what advice you have for me going forward. But I also want you to keep some of these things in mind. I am story first and foremost. I'm not one of those people that has to play this game on its original hardware. I can play it on other hardware if it's been ported over. I care about the story. I'm watching it. So keep that in mind, because we've had some people talk to us and tell us that, oh no, you must play the originals because that's the way it was intended. So, you know, I'm not one of those people. I care about the story. <laughs> I just don't know if I have the patience for all those loading doors. <laughs> and will I stay awake? <laughs>
<laughs> so please, nerdlings, uh, consider all of that. Leave some comments down below on what you think, or just on the topic in general. Mm -hmm. We would love to see some video yeah. responses if you're so inclined. Drop those links down below so we can go check those out. And let us know, what do you think? Whenever it comes to games that give you the option of playing either the original or some kind of remake, remaster, port, upscale, mm -hmm. and and does it vary? Uh, maybe, maybe these two, it doesn't matter so much because they're essentially the same, just minor changes, but these two are vastly different, so it's it's a bigger topic. All right, please like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, notification bell, and play your games original or remake. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We have merchandise on Tee Public. Go over to the Retro Refresh, because we'd love to talk to you over there. And if we like it... We nerd it. And we nerd all about it, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, have you nerd all about it? I forgot that this is a have you nerd all about it. Mm -hmm. I just... <laughs> we'll get this. <laughs> Take 25. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to get... Okay. Ready? And... Okay, nope. Okay, ready? I got this. I got this. Just give me a second. Even the box feels like you should play me. It's just soft and smooth and it's just so velvety. I love it. And wow. <laughs> oh, a Sephiroth girl, are He's you? Pretty hunky. You won't be. Tom, that turned out, or Gravy Tom, that turned out awesome, man. I really like that little collab you did. I wish I was in it. I must have missed the polos on that.